Welcome to this Robot Studio tutorial about generating a swept volume from a simulation. It shows how to generate a volume approximating the total volume of the robot and tool movement along a path. Click Quick Add Position Signals to enable recording of the robot motion. Click OK when you have read the disclaimer about stop estimation. Start the simulation to create the recording of the robot motion. Wait for the simulation to end or click stop at any time to end the recording. Click playback to open the recording playback window. Drag the time slider to see the nominal robot position at the specific time. Click Swept Volume to show a menu with two choices. Click Construct from Interpolated Positions. Robot Studio creates a point cloud from the recording. Where movement is fast, Extra points are added to ensure the resulting volume is continuous. A 3D volume is constructed from the point cloud. The result is added as a part of the station. The name of the part reflects the robot and recording. Part can be exported to various file formats. Click the category 0 or 1 checkbox to visualize the robot's estimated stop position. The menu text reflects the selected category. Click Construct from Interpolated Positions to generate a new volume from the estimated stop positions. The time and memory required to generate the volume depend on the length and complexity of the simulation. A new part is added to the station. The volume can be used to verify the fence placement. An alternative algorithm for the volume generation is available. Click Combine Discrete Positions. The geometries of each simulation step are combined into a single part. The result is a part in the station as before. The discrete steps of the simulation are visible with gaps between. This shows the difference between the two algorithms.